Welcome everybody. I always forget that when I'm saying three, two, one, it's actually already live. I don't know why it does a countdown because it already started filming. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day. Remember, I was always like, I'm gonna wait until it stops spinning, and then I'd look back and I was like, Oh, it was already filming me. Anyway, welcome guys. Um, we are gonna do kind of like that slow flow where we move to warm up in the beginning and then we slow it way down for the end. Um, so if you do have a block. Block would be good for tonight. If you do have a strap, strap would be good. If you don't need a block or a strap, you can use books or a pillow or uh, for the block. And then, I don't know, leggings or a belt or a towel for the strap. Towel might be a little bit too short though. Towel might not be that great. But belt, leggings, can anybody think of anything else for a strap? No. They're vocal camera shy too, apparently now. <laughs> so not just are they afraid to be seen on camera, they don't want to be heard on camera either, it seems. Okay, it seems. Speak, no, no. All right, um, once you got what you need to get, go ahead and come on to the mat. How are you feeling now? Uh, from the procedure, like 100%. Okay. Like all How good. long do you hear? I'm sorry? When do you hear back? Uh, tomorrow I have a follow up. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, probably okay, right? Because if it was something bad, they would have uh, Or maybe I would feel a little discomfort and pain or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. yeah. I've had stuff removed. And it's always like that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Waiting. <laughs> yeah, it's the waiting, and then, like, it's just, like, a weird... It feels weird. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Like, because yeah, it's, yeah. like, not full surgery, but it's still, like, a weird procedure. Yeah, so you yeah. feel... Yeah, I get it. Move slow today. Yeah. I mean... I always say do it ever feels good, but like especially tonight, just do your own thing. Um, let's get going. Yeah, so all in all, crap book. I was disappointed. The oh, book was boring, and everyone loved it. It was Hunger Games. Boring. <laughs> I, really I liked the first so one. I really liked the first one. I thought the first one was genius, and I thought it should have ended the way that it ended. Okay. And that would have been a really phenomenal end. I don't even know how it ended. Well, that was like when they had the berries, <laughs> and she went to eat them, oh, and they okay. ended it, and they took them both out, and they both survived. Yeah. That would have been the best ending, because then you would have, like, it opened the door of everything, right? Yeah. Like, you would have been like, <gasps> but then she kept going, and she just ruined it. <laughs> You're like, just stop. Oh, I, I think the best part of the Hunger Games trilogy was, like, the, um, like, you have to counter out, uh, like, what do you call it, celebrity, like, craziness. Like, you know, yeah, like the capital. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. I actually okay. We're gonna get started in a minute. Sorry, real quick about the Hunger Games. I actually really liked the ballad of snakes and songbirds or whatever it was called mm -hmm. that recently came out that everyone like in the library world like totally trashed. I thought it was phenomenal. I love origin stories though. They did such a good job. So it's like it was how the Hunger Games became the hung the Hunger Games. Oh, like a so it was like the second year of the Hunger Games, oh. and what's his face? Snow oh. is just a student. Okay. And like he is basically the one that is like we should bet on it. Like like basically it was like dying out. Like no one was interested in the Hunger Games. Everyone thought it was like sick and like twist. Like even in the capital, like no one was really on board for it. And it was almost like not gonna be, it wasn't gonna keep going. And then they like made a competition amongst the students to make it more entertaining. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, I that. and yeah, I, I thought it was great. I was like, this is so good. I mean it was like kind of boring, but like all in all, I thought the story was like mm -hmm. really good. That was a good one. So you may like the Sandman on Netflix. Oh, I have to watch that one. So I heard so many good I reviews. Thought it was so brilliant. It, but it's based on the comic, right? I have no idea. I, I don't know I, either. I, I, nothing I saw that, I was like, oh, I thought he was Slender Man or something, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm not going to be into it. And then it was, it's totally okay. something different. So oh, I have to watch okay, it. We got to get started. People are probably like, I don't care about this conversation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so basically we're saying for the book that I read that I don't even remember the title, and then thumbs up for the Snow ballad of songbirds or whatever it's called. <laughs> Encanto is a mixed bag and <laughs> Sandman Sand Sand is two thumbs up. And two thumbs up for yoga therapy. Like yeah. I know that's what you guys come here for, for our, <laughs> yeah. for our unsolicited opinions about TV shows and books. <laughs> All right. So drop it into your breath. Find an easy, uh, comfortable position. So if you want to be on a pillow or a block or you want to just sit on your booty, you can even lie down if you prefer. 
I don't like starting lying down because I feel like it's really hard for me to sit back up. But if that's you, if that's your mood for today, then go ahead and lie down. And just start breathing. I mean, I guess you're already breathing. Pay attention to your breath. Maybe sometimes we do stop breathing, right? And we need that like moment of deep breath in to recalibrate, to remember that our breath exists. That's what I want you guys to do tonight, is try to follow your breath. So as we move a little bit faster, allow the breath to help you, you know, push through some of the more um, warming up poses. And then as we slow it down, allow that breath to guide you through those longer holds. Deep breath in and out. Let it feel however it needs to feel in your body. So if you're not quite at a deep breath yet, don't worry about it. Just let the breath be shallow. If you feel like you want to be fidgety a little bit, go ahead and fidget. So I taught a class, I might have said this to you guys last week, so I apologize if I already said it, but I taught a class, or no, because I taught a class after you guys. Um, and it was a woman that had never taken yoga before, and I was trying to explain this opening part of our practice. And the only thing that I could like really think of, and if you are not religious in any way, then this might not be relevant, but it's kind of like that opening prayer, or like when you grow up and you pray in the morning, or you pray before a meal, or you you know pray before you go to bed. It's kind of that, right? It's that moment of checking in and of getting really present in what is happening in that moment and what's about to happen after that moment. So that's how I want you to think of like these opening breaths. It's just kind of that, that prayer that you give to your body. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be calm and deep and meditative and all that kind of stuff. It could just be those few moments that you say, okay, I'm here and we're about to move. And now everyone bring your hands to your hearts. Before you move to the Jolly Mudra, try to take a moment to listen to your heart. Deep breath in, feel your chest rise against your hands. Exhale that breath out, feel your chest lower, rise and lower. Lower, right? <laughs> One more breath in. Exhale, let it lower. <laughs> Bring your hands to your knees, eyes blink gently open. Let's get moving. Is it lower? Rise and lower? It sounded weird. Rise and fall? Fall! That's what I was trying to think of. Could not get there in my mind. And I was like, I was like, what? I had class too, and I was like, wait, wait, no, I want to say class. Fall, fall. Okay, all right. That's too terminal. Why not? Yeah, right. Rise and collapse. Because you can come off your block if you want. Take an inhale. Was I the only one on the block? Oh, no, I'm on the block. Okay. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Gaze comes down. Inhale. Hands up. I have room to on my mat. <laughs> Exhale. Gaze down. Hands down. One more time. Inhale the arms up. Gaze up. Exhale the arms down. Gaze down. Bring your arms parallel to the ground. So let's do thumbs up. You can scatter a little bit. You want to move? No, you're fine, Stephen. Don't move where you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Circles forward. One, two, three, four, five. Circles back. One, two, three, four. Five. I didn't realize how close you were to the wall. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. We'll move out of this really quickly. Bring your hands to the shoulders. Circle down. We're going to have to change this setup next week. Two, three, and reverse one. We'll glam up for the camera. Two, Don't worry. Three. What? <laughs> we'll You'll glam, glam up? up? I said we will oh. glam up. <laughs> <laughs> Reach the arms up. Take the right hand past the top of the shoulder blades, like the where your neck and your shoulder blades kind of meet. And bring your left hand over. You know, I was thinking, like, just now as I'm doing this, that I should probably take, like, an anatomy refresh. Because I feel like a description <laughs> of body parts and things are like, I don't know, what do you call it? The nape of the neck? Is that the nape of the neck? The nape of the neck is, like, I believe that's the top part right here. So not the nape of the neck. All right, inhale, lift up. Exhale, side over to the left. So the opposite side that the arm is like of the arm touching your back. So my right arm is bent in, 
I'm moving over towards the left. And then reach both arms up, left hand comes down, make that connection. Pull the, or like push the elbow back a little bit to open up the chest. And then exhale over to the right side. And all the way back, reach the arms up, and then bring the hands parallel to the mat, or the, yeah, your mat. Bring your right fingers down, and then gently push back on that right hand. When we switch sides, now I could just be really gentle. This might not actually feel too bad, just be like really just resigned to it. Yeah. And switch sides, gentle, gentle, gentle. And then bring the hands up. Pull the fingers back. And opposite hand. Pull the fingers back. Nice. And come on to hands and knees. Table top. Get right into it. Inhale, lift the chin up, stretch the belly. Exhale, chin to chest, curl the back. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, curling. We'll do one more here. So inhale, reach up. And exhale, curl. Bring your hands flat. And now we're going to lean forward here. We're working the forearms a little bit in the beginning, Monica. So mm -hmm. just, just be gentle. Circles out to the right, back to the booty, to the left. To the front. So just big circles. Bring the hands a little bit past the wrists and back. When you've done about three, go ahead and reverse that direction. Opposite direction. Good. Tuck your toes under, sink your seat back, walk your fingertips forward. Now, once your fingertips have walked as far as they can walk, Palms are up, elbows are up, drop your chest in between the arms. Reach the crown of the head towards the top of the mat. And I don't know if you guys heard it, but I had a huge crack in my back just then. <laughs> and walk all the way back to tabletop. Bring your hands to the wide edges of the mat and sway side to side here. Come to neutral and flip your fingers towards your knees. Tuck your toes under and then sink the seat back. Basically, this is because I played pickleball yesterday and I thought that I was athletic. What is that? Pickleball? I call it slow motion tennis. Oh, okay. It's like a smaller tennis court and then you have like a cross between a tennis racket and a ping pong thing and it's like a wiffle ball. It's oh, a lot okay. of fun. It's a lot of fun. But it like, like I have like pain in my forearm. Like I was some kind of like Are tennis you... champion. Like I'm like, this is embarrassing. Like my forearm hurts. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. And then flip your hands. Are you done it before, Monica? No, no, like one time. Actually, let's just do one. Let's do one hand at a time. Not two. So do your right hand first. And then just lean back. Tennis used to be like, uh, what do they call it? Tennis elbow, right? Yeah. No, but, but in my wrist, used to, mm -hmm. I remember that I thought that the, the racket was too heavy for me or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember thinking that, which was weird. And flip hands. It is a lot of fun, though. I feel like you would like it. Yeah? Yeah. So it is a lot of fun. It's very, like, low stakes. Like, like you don't, like, like, tennis, I feel like you have to play tennis to play tennis. Yeah. Like, this, like, was, like, only my second time playing. And you like, and I felt like I could actually like play. You know? Do you play, play inside or like outside? That's right. Overpack has a really nice, like they have a pickleball thing. But you can use a regular tennis court. All right, back to tabletop. Right leg out to the side. And lower. Right leg out to the side. And lower. Right leg out to the side. Circles forward for one, two, three. And reverse that direction for one, two, and three. Bring it out to the side and straighten it. And then tap it down this time. Just keep it down. Slide it out. 
Bring your forearms down. And breathe. What? When you have a su substitute here. Yeah. She stayed here and then we were like. I know, but she didn't have a camera. I don't know if that's gonna uh, fit. That's what I was thinking, is we're gonna try it out. But you could put maybe the camera in the corner and then just the real. Yeah. We were that's why I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it in. Um, push up into the hands, bring that foot in. We're, we'll try it out. Next week I'll like kind of come early and like move everything around and see what makes the most sense. Left leg out to the side. And lower, left leg out to the side, and lower, left leg out to the side, circles forward for one, two, three, and back for one, two, three. Bring your foot out, straighten it, lower it down, slide it out, back onto your forearms. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just see what angles work in case. Just so we have backup, you know, like not even that we need it, but just in case we do, then I'll have better options rather than like not knowing what to do with the camera. All right, pressing up into the hands, bringing that left foot back in. Tuck your toes under, send your seat back towards your heels, lift those knees up. Take it down dog and go ahead and pedal out the feet. Be gentle, gentle in your down dogs. First one of the day maybe, the week maybe, the month maybe. Okay, <laughs> bring your hat with that. And then when you feel ready, you can take a moment of stillness. So it's okay if the knees are bent, just send your chest back. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Hang in your forward fold when you get to the top. Bend your knees when you need to, lift the hands when you need to. And bring the hands to the opposite elbows. Let's sway side to side. And then turn the music up a little bit and see if Facebook flags me. <laughs> Lower the hands down to the mat. Bend the knees. Inhale the arms round and up. Exhale, forward fold. Do you hear it? Or is it really quiet by you guys? I hear it. I hear it. Step the right leg back. Tap the knee and lift, but keep it low. Tap the knee and lift. Tap the knee and lift. This time when we tap the knee, we keep it down. Inhale, the arms come up. Reach all the way back. Take your right hand, bring it down your right legs, and then like move the left hands to give yourself a side stretch here. This feels good. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And back. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, send the left leg back down dog. Reach the right leg up and high. Bend the left knee, the knee you're standing on, bend it and straighten. Bend it and straighten. Bend it and straighten. Bend your right knee and bring it knee to knee. Like we were just doing a tabletop, right? Mm -hmm. Open the right knee out to the side and lower. Open it out to the side and lower. Open it out to the side, hold circles forward. One, two, three. Reverse the direction. One, two, and three. Bring that foot down. Bring the knees down. Take a child's pose. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I like the way that feels. I don't like the way that one feels. It was <laughs> Fall forward at your thumbs. Pull your chest forward. Oh, I'm like a dog. Lift up. My favorite is that Sammy's right by the microphone. So for sure, everyone just likes her to be like, I don't like that one. That's why like, though. You don't like, like the comment. You liked my comment. <laughs> and lower. Press <laughs> into the hands, lift all the way up, full cobra. Actually, bend in your arms a little bit. Let's not do full cobra. Just quite subscribe. Cool. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take your toes in and lift.
have the oh yeah. Do we have Instagram? And so then yeah, yeah, we should have it there too. At the Bendy Bookworm. And and don't forget it. <laughs> and we're gonna do that two more times. So lift up, toes up, and lower. Lift up, toes up, and lower. Tuck the toes under, send the seat back towards the heel. Down dog. And baby step the feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Bend the knees when you need to, lift the hands when you need to. Hang back in your forward fold. And Danielle goes viral. Oh my god. Don't forget, Please remember don't forget, us. Don't forget, don't forget the core yeah. group. Yeah. <laughs> Curl all the way up to stand. You guys would be the reason I went viral. I know. Scottish stuff. Let's <laughs> work back. I'll tell her. Bend the back knee, tap, lift up, keep it low. Bend the back knee and tap, lift. Bend the back knee, lift. Last time, bend the back knee, stay there. Inhale, lift those arms up. Left leg, hand comes down to the left leg. Right arm reaches up and over, side bend. Looking back towards your left foot. And down. Tuck the back toes under, lift that back knee up, send your right leg back, down dog. Left leg comes up and high, bend the right knee and straighten, bend the right knee and straighten, bend the right knee and straighten. Left knee comes to the right knee. Open it out to the side, lower, out to the side, lower, out to the side, lower, out to the side, hold, circles forward, one, Two, three, and the first one. Two, and three. Bring that foot all the way down to the mat. Look forward at your thumbs. Actually, pull yourself to plank. And back. That was like an awkward instruction. Right leg all the way up. <laughs> Come forward to plank. And up. Pull forward to plank. You said slow. <laughs> and up. This is what happens when you talk shit. Right foot comes down, left foot comes up. We can make this a lot harder. This way you know the burn. Come forward. And up. Come forward. And up. Put that foot down. Knees come down. Child's pose. I felt that in my inner thigh. I this glass. You too. I got like. 10 more minutes before we slow it down. These could be 10, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Look forward at your thumbs, come all the way through. Lower onto your belly. Lift up, baby cobra, and down. Lift up, full cobra, and down. Bring your hands out to the side, elbows are up. Lift up, get full cobra, and lower. Bring the hands back in, tuck the toes under, send the seat back, down dog. Right leg comes all the way up and high, bend the right knee, and then point that right knee up to the ceiling. So move the left toes over to the left, see if you can look up underneath your left armpit and see those toes there. Turn your ankle in one direction, turn your ankle in the other direction, and then straighten yourself out, Step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Yep. Yeah, this is. What? The lizard pose, do you have like the cool poses, the lizard ones? The, the lizard poses are the coolest? Yeah. Do you think this is the coolest? <laughs> <laughs> not, not in Not in yoga. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring that knee down, the lizard. Alright, now you're going to come out to the right side of the foot, lower that right knee down. You can do a gentle, gentle push down on the right knee. 
and to the outer hip here. Bring the foot back down, sole the foot down, reach that right foot up. That was your comment. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Someone agree. Bring your right hand back. I don't think I'm doing this right. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm still kicked. Here, ready? Hold on. Let's adjust. Bring your hand, your foot down. Slide your right foot further forward. Like way forward. Giant step forward. Even more. Forward? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Hold it there. Okay. Now lean forward into it, just like you just did. Bring the back knee down. Lift the back foot up. Hand comes back. Move your hips down towards the mat. It's okay if you don't make it, but is that slightly more comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not crushing my knee bone. Yeah. And release the foot. Hand comes down to the inside of the mat. Turn your right toes off the mat. Lift the back knee up. Draw the belly button to the spine. Step the back foot forward. No, you can stay down. Sorry, I just hopped over so you guys can see. <laughs> I should have said that. Heels down. Step your feet mass distance apart. Like wide around. Yeah, there you go. All right, hands come down. Straighten the knees. Toes go forward. So you're in like a V-shaped forward fold. Heels turn in. Sink the heat. The hips. Hands come down, straighten the legs. And one more time, bring the heels in, sink the booty down. Okay. Left hand comes down to the mat, reach the right arm all the way up, twist open. And switch, right hand down, left arm all the way up, twist it open. And all the way down. Come all the way to stand. Turn toes together at the top of the mat. I forgot where we started on that one. Inhale, the arms around it up. We're going to guess. Is this up the right? Exhale, all the way down. Yeah, but I don't remember. Look up halfway. And down. Step the left leg back. Step the right leg back. Down dog. Left leg comes all the way up and high. Bend the left knee. Bring that knee towards the ceiling. Look under your right armpit, see if you can see that left foot. Turn in the ankle in one direction. Turn in the ankle in the other direction. Straighten out again, square your hips. And then step that left foot to the outside of the left hand. Yeah, I think that was it, right? Yes, like I didn't really do anything before that. Yeah. All right, move around a little bit. And then bring the back knee down so that you're in your low lizard. Open up that left hip so you can like splay the leg out a little bit here. And then gentle, gentle nudge on it. Cool lizard. What? Cool lizard. Oh, the cool lizard. The cool lizard. Yeah, no, because it looks like the lizard. <laughs> yeah, the like Komodo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're saying. No, those things are ugly. There I is a Komodo. Oh, yeah. maybe we could do that next week. There is a yoga pose for that. Oh, God. Good <laughs> ideas. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, now adjust yourself so that you are protecting everything. So make sure that that left foot is as far forward as it can get. And then sink the hips. Lift the back knee up. Plant that right hand. Left arm comes, or the right foot comes up, sorry. Left hand goes back. Reach for it. Doesn't have to actually connect. Draw it forward. Sink the hips down towards the mat. And release the foot, hand comes inside, lift that back knee up, send the left leg back down dog. All right, now you can walk your feet up to the top of the mat, or you can bend the knees, hop it forward. Nice. Good, okay, ready? Bend the knees, hands plant, hop it back to plank. And then down dog. We're gonna do that two more times. Bend those knees, hop it forward, straighten. Bend the knees, hop it back to plank, down dog. And one more time, bend the knees, look forward, hop it forward, 
straighten the legs, bend the knees, hop it back, plank, down dog. Alright, baby step your feet all the way up to the top of the mat, hang in your forward fold, and then curl all the way up, and we haven't done a long block hold in a while, so we're going to do it today. Wait, Make sure you have a pants, get a sip of water, and we're going to I thought we were doing suicides. Nah. That's how it looked like. Nah, I would never. So what are suicides? That's like jump feet out in and then forward, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are killer. All right. Stick your block on its lowest. Oh. Bring your feet up onto the block. Now, if you have a book at home and you want to do this, this is the best. It's just a book. It doesn't even have to be that thick. It doesn't have to be block thick. Your shins will still feel it, or your uh, calves will still feel it. All right, lower down. Bend your knees a little bit, because you're gonna be here for one full minute, so don't go into it harder than you need to. Don't breathe. We haven't done this in forever. To me, it'll be so miraculous because when I don't do it, I feel heavy anyway, and then I come here to class and it just, the whole week is so much better. Oh. Say that louder for the camera. Because <laughs> <laughs> Simone you know, right here that she just whispered. <laughs> Very whispery today over there. Yeah, it's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> She just said that yoga was miraculous. To me, yeah. Because she doesn't do yoga and she feels pain and then she comes to yoga and she feels good. Yep. The whole week. She was not paid to say that. <laughs> <laughs> not a sponsored post. Not sponsored. Yes. Not at all. <laughs> this is 100% all right. my opinion. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Take that block out from underneath your feet. Put it to the highest height. And then just lower down. Now, if you can be here with your legs straight, let your legs go straight on this one. If you still need to bend those legs in order for your hands to get onto the block, go ahead and bend the knees. You can't know, when I started, I couldn't grab. I couldn't grab up, you know, like on this pose. I couldn't grab. I couldn't make the, the connection. Oh, I know. I think the moment for me when I was like, oh my gosh, yoga, <laughs> is when I like was going to the bathroom and ran out of toilet paper and I had to twist to the top of the toilet paper <laughs> to get a roll of toilet paper behind me and I like just did it. Like I just twisted over no and grabbed problem. it and yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, exactly. I can twist behind me? Yeah. That was cool. But I feel like sometimes that backfires and I think I'm more flexible than I am. No, no. All right, now you can stay there if you're happy, or you can bring it to the next level lower, which is this one. I don't know, they call it like motel height. It's hotel, motel, or flat. Whatever one feels good. Let the head go. Sway it side to side, release the neck here. Almost done. We're just going to do one more minute after this one. And then that one is going to be your choice of whichever one you want to go back to. So you can either stay for this last minute like this, you can go back to like motel height, back to the hotel height, you could bring your toes back up, whatever you want to do. You can even take the block away and just bring the hands down if you want to do your last minute there. Just make sure that it feels like a natural progression and that you're not jumping steps and hurting yourself. We have 30 more seconds, so the song changes and then the step in. When was the last week when I said you guys were gonna hold it for like a song and I didn't tell you how long the song was? That was last week, right? <laughs>
10 more seconds. <clears throat> Deep breath in. Exhale that breath all the way out. Inhale. Exhale all the way out. Let's do one more deep inhale. Exhale it out. Gentle bend in the knees as you inhale. Reach those arms all the way up. Woo. And bring your hands to your hips. Bring that right leg up. Slow circles out for one, two, and three. Reverse that direction for one and two. And three, bring your foot or your knee like to center. Left hand takes the knee, right arm reaches back. Give yourself a gentle little twist. This is a balance challenge. So just if you can't look all the way back, keep looking forward, just reach that arm back. And then bring yourself back to center. Bring that right leg down, left leg comes up. Circles out for one, two, three. Let's reverse the direction for one two and three bring it to center right hand comes to the knee left arm reaches back bring the arm back first and then shift the gaze back or keep looking forward inhale and exhale and then bring it all the way back to center bring that foot down nice inhale those arms up exhale forward Step the right leg back, lower the right knee down. Untuck the toes, inhale the arms come all the way up. Take three breaths here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Bring the hands down to the mat, tuck the back toes under, and then walk it back. We're gonna walk our feet, our fingers forward. So you can actually sink your booty down to the heel. Walk your hands forward, three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Walk it all the way forward. Bring that back knee up, bring it forward, forward fold. Left leg goes straight back. Left knee comes down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down. Tuck the back toes under. Sink it back. Walk your hands forward. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, walk it forward, lift the back knee up, step it forward, forward fold, Str or bend your knees, sorry, bring your hands to your hips, those guys are straightened, we're just going to do 10 squats just to warm up the legs, so stand, so lift up, lower down, going slow today, lift up, Lower down. Lift up. Lower down three. Pause when you're down. So four. Pause. Lift. Lower down. Pause for five. Lift. Lower down. Pause. What is it like? <laughs> and up. We got two more. And up. One more, and up. Bring yourself back down, hands come down to the mat. Step your right leg back. And now this time, you're gonna bend the back knee, straighten the front toes. Yeah, but don't lower all the way down, stay high. Yeah, and walk it forward. Walk it back, bend the back knee. Walk it forward. Walk it back. And walk it forward. Step the back foot up. Hang your forward fold. That's hard, right? Yes. Yeah, that was hard. Mm -hmm. I know it. <laughs> All right, move the left leg back. Same thing, rock it back, bend that knee. 
knee, keep it high. And forward. Bend the knee, keep it high. And forward. Bend the knee, keep it high. And forward. All right, this time pause in your low lunge. Stay low, see if you can drop your hips to keep the knee up. And then same thing, you're gonna tap the mat and lift, tap the mat and lift, tap the mat and lift, tap the mat, untuck the toes, walk it all the way back, sink your right hip to the outside of your left foot, or the inside of your left foot, yeah? Uh, flip your heel towards that side, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can't really see me. So my foot is like towards the left side of the mat. My hip is like towards the right side of the mat. Grab your strap, untuck it. Can you bring your foot out so you're not sitting on your foot? You can do it. Like this? All the way out, all the way out. Oh. Yeah. If that's uncomfortable, you can grab your block and just push your block right underneath your booty so it's more comfortable. Because oh, okay. I want this to be comfortable. I don't want that pose to be challenging. All right, okay. Because we're gonna go one more level deeper. So make sure this one is like com comfortable. Okay. Take the strap, bring it around the foot, and pull yourself forward. You're gonna be here for like two minutes. That's why I wanted this to be comfortable. Because this pulling forward part is rough. Maybe a minute. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is great. This is so great. Yeah, you might, if you don't even need the strap, if you just want to grab your foot, that's fine too. That's just a little rough for me. You guys might be a little bit more flexy than me. so fast. It's on the clock already. Oh wow. I know. Okay, come sit tall. Keep holding on to your strap or if you can, piece fingers to toe. If that does not come naturally and easily, keep the strap. You keep your strap around it. You ready, Stephen? Oh yeah. Oh, bring it up towards like, bring it up towards like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Grab that strap in your right hand. Left hand comes to your hip, or grab your big toes and lift up. And just take three breaths here. So once you're up, if you want to like see if you can grab your toes once you're up, that's fine. It's just pulling up without, like pulling up from the, the toes is, is like a tricky core thing and we can do too much core. So take one more deep inhale and then lower it all the way down. Bring that strap to the side. And now bring the easiest way out of this is to bring your booty on top of your heel and then walk yourself forward. Yeah. Bring that back knee up, right leg goes back, left knee comes forward. Stay low. Bend the back knee and straighten. Bend the back knee and straighten. Bend and tap and straighten. Bend and tap this time. Untuck the toes, walk it back inside of the right leg. And now you guys can see on camera, I'm sorry, I should have like spun for you, but it puts the outside. If the side is tighter than the other side and you wanna grab the block or your book or your pillow this time around, go ahead and grab it. Just stick it underneath your booty so you're off your knee and you're more comfy. Yeah, everyone's good? What are you laughing at? No, uh, no, that's just not so funny when I was looking at the straps. That's not so funny. Oh. All right, grab your strap, bring it around your foot. And pose. We've got like a minute and a half here. Is anybody watching Only Murders in the Building? Murders? What? What did you say? Is, it, is it anybody watching oh, Only Murders right. in the Building? Oh. Did you say that? <laughs> Murders? You guys aren't watching it? No. Is it on Netflix? Where is it? It's on Hulu. Oh, I don't have 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> fancy people. Selena <laughs> Gomez is in it. You should watch Prey on Hulu. Good movie. I can't believe. An hour and 30 minutes. This is the first I don't place. Have, I don't have it. Where I, don't have I can't talk about only merch. Like, this is what we do at work <laughs> because everyone's watching it. And it yeah. only drops like one. I love Hulu because it only drops one episode a week. Oh, I hate that. So, like, oh, I love it because we're all, it's like no. old school. Like, we're all talking about it because no. we don't know what's coming next. So we all watch it and we talk about it the next day. Really? Oh, it so doesn't much seem fun. like a good actress to me, but I take your word for it. <laughs> get out. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Second strike. <laughs> get out. Sandy. And my boyfriend doesn't really like her either. But I love Selena. No, I'm, I'm talking about like as an actress, I don't see it, but I take your word for it that she's a good actress in she's the show. She's like, I think she's, I think she's I good in the role that she's in. I saw. Um, but I just love her. I just love her as a person. So, she was like one of my first concerts that I ever went to. Oh, really? Yeah. How was she? Was she lip syncing away or? No, she's great. She has a good voice. <laughs> Why are you hating on Sue? She's I like, like her songs. I, I love like her. her. And I'm old. So All right, I like her. Are you grabbing your strap <laughs> or your big toe? Because I know what Sue was and she dated for spirit. That's about it. Who? Don't even bring that up Who? in this class. She dated Justin Bieber. Oh, no one cares. We don't talk. We don't talk about Justin Bieber. And He's Selena. even worse. I but I do like himself. Justin Bieber. He was on the playlist. <laughs> I like him as an artist. I don't really like him as a person. Yes. yes. Everyone yes. has, he has, everyone good has songs, to separate that. that not a person. Yeah, he's like just not a great person. It's like art well, telling. he's not a great person like on social media. I don't want to say how he is. Yeah, as yeah. I think person. like he was so know. young. Yeah. But he's just like not a great persona. Yeah, I think he was so young that I'm he was a little. But I do always want to like make clear that, right? Like, yeah. cause I don't, I don't know him. Yeah. So I don't want to be like, yeah. oh, he's not a good person. But yeah. his like, his board. like whole like social media persona, yeah. I'm not like a huge fan of. All right, popping up onto your heel, and then walk it forward. Tuck the back toes under. Send that left foot back. All right. So today's practice, you can bring your knees down. We're gonna try a um, like a little bit of a split, and then that's it. And then we're and then we're just doing our pigeon and our normal like cool down stuff. So we're doing the split. What? We're doing the split. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to the bathroom for a minute. Oh, we did the split. <laughs> okay. So okay. keep going, or do you want us to wait? Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay. Because last time she left like right after that. So while Sandy's in the bathroom, we'll do our fairy dogs because we have a bit. So we'll do our little inversion practice, and then when she comes back, we'll move into splits. So bring your hands down. You guys know what fairy dogs are, right? Yes. So we take those little leaps. Remember, so we bring our arms down. They're externally rotated. Inside of the elbows are pointing out. We go into our down dog. We take, oh, let me, I'll explain it. Watch first. So your hands come down. You're in your down dog. You take an itty-bitty step in, whatever you're comfortable stepping in. Why do we do that? Because the further back you are, the longer you have to travel, because in order to nail your inversions, eventually, you need to be stacked, which means wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips, ankles, knee, or knees, ankles, just like when you're standing. You're doing the same thing upside down. So if you're starting all the way back here, you have a really far way to travel to bring your feet in line with your hands, right? But while your hamstrings are tight, your step in might be a little bit shorter. That's fine because you're, these are just inversion practices. It's not actually to get you into an inversion. Anyway, moving on. So you walk your feet in whatever you're comfortable with. Right leg comes up and high. Right knee pulls in. Gaze shifts to the thumbs. You take an inhale. And then on the exhale, you bring that right leg up towards the sky. So it looks like inhale, exhale, and you hop a bit. That hop can be a centimeter off the ground. It does not have to be high. Okay, ready? Down dog. Okay, down dog. Right leg up and high. Bring that right knee in. Shift your gaze, inhale. Exhale, little leap. Yeah. Bring the knee in, inhale. Exhale, little leap. Good, one more time. Bring the right knee in. And exhale, little leap. And all the way down, take so child's pose before we do the other side. So Stephen, make sure that your gaze is in between your thumbs because your body is going to go wherever your eyes go. So if you're looking at me, you're going to throw your whole thing off. If you're looking to the side, 
you're going to throw your whole thing off. So just like once you shift your gaze, let it be a steady gaze in between your thumbs. Okay. All right, ready? Down dog. Plant your hands. Walk your feet in a little bit if you need to. Left leg comes up and high. Bend that left knee all the way in. Shift your gaze. Inhale, exhale. Good. Left knee in, inhale. Exhale. Shoot it up. And last one, left knee in. Exhale, and all the way down. Those were great. Good job. Yeah. They were great. Excuse me, we're getting a lot better from last time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. Now for the splits. Now, if you don't have a split practice, this isn't really, this is just to stretch out your legs. This is not a big deal. Um, what you're going to do. We're going to try it with one block. It usually, like, once I show you this, when you're at home, if you have, like, another thing to help stabilize, it's a lot more comfortable, but we're just going to do our best with one block. So, you step your right leg forward so that you're in, like, a 90 and a 90. You guys can do this with me. We can all do it together. I'm not really going to show you, because you're going to be, like, gaze is going to be up while we're doing this anyway. Now, I have the block on the inside just because I tend to lean in. I think my inner hips are a little bit... Um, more like stretched out than my outer hips, so my tendency is to move in. But if you're in the opposite, you might feel more stability having your block out outside the hip. Whatever. All right, now, there's two ways to do this. Once again, whatever's more comfortable for you. I like to take a giant step forward, and then I wiggle my foot back. I wiggle all the way back, I keep wiggling back. But some people like to wiggle forward. So you just kind of wiggle. Mm -hmm until you're at your point where you're like, I'm done. And then maybe you can like stick the block a little bit higher, Monica. A little motel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to kind of balance you a little bit. Yeah. Straighten your leg out in the front if you can. Like point your toes up. Yeah. You don't have to wiggle any further. Just see if you can lift it. Yeah. There you go. We're just going to take three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands down. Now here's where it gets tricky again. You can either lay to the side like Monica just did, or I just bring my foot in and then I walk my back knee in. It's not as graceful, but... I don't feel like getting out of splits is ever graceful until you have like a really good split practice and then you can just like, right? Because for the rest of us, that was intense. Yeah, that was, <laughs> was yeah. good. I can never even do it as a kid. I mean, I was closer. You're so close though. What are you talking about? <laughs> you were a block away. You were same yeah. as me. All right. Left leg comes forward. All right, if you guys actually, if you like split practice and that's something you want to do, the live that I did on Saturday was like a, like a burn, right? Where it was like a hard practice for the whole thing. And then we went into splits and I actually like got into a split at that practice. Wow. So if it's like something you want to try, go back to the live I did on Saturday and give it a try. All right. So walk comes to the outside. Start to walk your back knee back or walk your front knee forward, whatever is like more acceptable to you. And then once you've hit your like peak of where you can bring your feet, flex that front foot up. And this side I'm like way worse. This one's not so bad. You're better on this side? I think. I feel. You're, you're much better. Yeah. Bring the block more towards your booty so it's stabilizing your, yeah. Yeah. Whenever you use the block, you always want to bring it in line with like your pelvic if you can, because then you can rest the bone. If you're bringing it on muscle, your muscle's going to like flop around it. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. You guys like three breaths. We've already been here. <laughs> and exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. However you need to get out. Walk that front knee forward. Walk the back knee back. Just Lay to the side. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> All right, coming down onto your booty. Yeah, you think so? 
always say I was, I was working at the gym at the park. Oh, well maybe you, maybe this will like, like stretch you out though. All right, hands come behind you. And then you just windshield wiper goes knee to side to side. Side to side. All right, how are you guys feeling? Do you wanna do pigeons or do you wanna do bridges? Bridges. 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 <laughs> On your feet. Oh, you wanna do pigeons? Two for one. Bridges, you guys wanna do bridges? I wanna do pigeons. We'll do. No, that's fine. Why don't we do? No, it's just because of my pigeon bridges. Oh, <laughs> How about that? She, you see what she did there? She fused it together. Got just it. for you. All right. Yeah. So lower and all the way down on your back, taking just one gentle bridge. So not wheels. So you don't you don't have to use your wrist. You just can bring your hands down to the mat. Palms are facing down. Walk those heels in so you can tickle the backs of the feet. And then lift your hips up. One normal bridge first. So just lift those hips up, squeeze the booty at the top, and then lower it down. Bring the right ankle on top of the left knee. And then lift the hips up. Look at that. Pigeon bridge. <laughs> and lower down, bring your right foot down. Left ankle to right knee. Lift up, squeeze your booty at the top, and all the way down. Bring your right ankle to the left knee. Lift that left leg up parallel to the mat. Take your right hand, bring it inside that little circle that you made, that figure four, and then clasp the hands on top of the knee. Does that make sense? Or behind, oh. no Sandy, you were good, you were good. Mm -hmm. You can go right back. Because you can go behind that thigh if, if the top of the knee doesn't feel good. You can just gently tug that left thigh closer to your chest. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale and exhale. Lower that left leg down. Lower the right foot down. Switch sides. So left ankle to right knee. Bring that right leg up parallel to the mat. Left hand goes into that figure four. And then same thing, you can grab behind that right thigh and just gently tug the right thigh in. Or you can cup the hands right above the knee and then same motion though, you're still tugging that right knee into your chest. And lower the foot down to the ground, lower the right foot down to the ground. Take a few more windshield wipers, just side to side. And then reach the legs out along the mat. Shake out those legs, releasing any excess energy that might have kind of got stuck down in the lower half of our bodies tonight. And then allow your legs to find some stillness. Maybe turn in the ankles and turn in the wrists if that feels good. Taking one beat to listen into your body and see if there is any final stretch that is calling to your body tonight. Answer is yes, there's probably something. So listen to it. Apparently everyone is just being called to Savasana. <laughs> is that what's happening? That's fine. Take a deep inhale in through your nose. Oh wait, I'll wait for Sandy to finish her last twist. All right, deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale it out, let the body become heavy. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale it out, let the body be heavy. Now allow yourself to drift into your savasana, taking these last few moments of class to find some stillness and to find some peace.
when you feel ready, you can begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, drawing your breath deep into the body, reaching the hands above your head and stretching your whole body out long on the mat. Take an inhale and reach. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. And when you feel ready, you can roll over onto your favorite side, whatever side that is, and use the forearm of that side as a pillow for your head. Take the opposite hand and push it into the ground in front of you, pushing yourself all the way back up to a seated position. Bring those hands onto your knees, palms facing up, deep inhale in. Exhale, let the breath go. Bring your hands to Jala Mudra, that prayer position in front of the heart. Deep breath in. Exhale, bowing down to your mudra. Taking a moment in gratitude for yourself for showing up, for doing your best, for laughing with me. And then extending that gratitude for tonight's practice to the practice of yoga. Taking a moment to remember where it comes from and all the yogis that came before it that have brought it to us so that we could benefit too. And now as you leave your mat and you take your yoga practice out into the world, I greet your off the mat practice with namaste. With namaste. Thank you guys. Yay. How's that? Everyone's quiet. Good. That usually means the good, good savasana, not a good practice. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you all for showing up, for being here, and I will see you on Saturday on my YouTube channel if you'd like. Saturday morning, 9 a.m. I'm live in my living room. All right, bye everyone.